God message for you today. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Proverbs 27 to 5. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Proverbs 27 to 6. Contrary to what modern Christianity teaches, one of the greatest acts of love is a rebuke. True love wounds, true friends wound each other. They correct, rebuke, and warn each other for their mutual perfection. These faithful gestures of love are precious. On the other hand, false friends may easily show much outward affection or attention, which are a lying cover for their selfish hearts, Proverbs 27 to 5. You should ask God for wounding, friends. Flattering words and a kiss are what Judas used, Matthew 26 to 49. True friendship and love give, and they give for the benefit of others. If you truly love another person, all your actions toward them will be governed by the goals of helping them please God and prepare for the day of judgment. Therefore, you will correct, rebuke, and warn as necessary you will not coddle, compromise, or overlook actions that hurt their relationship with God or lead to sin in their life. Godly love will not cover sins. It will correct sins. It will not condone evil. It will condemn evil. Many believe the devils lie that friendship and love are seeking pleasure and keeping things comfortable, happy, and peaceful in relationships regardless of another's conduct. But if you truly care for a person you will want to help perfect them, Luke 17 to 3, Galatians 6 to 1 to 2, 1 Thessalonians 5 14, Hebrew 3 12 13, 10, 24 to 25, James 5, 19, 20. If you do not rebuke their sin, you hate them. Leviticus 19, 17. This kind of love creates the greatest friendships and relationships. Proverbs 28 to 23. Solomon wrote, Rebuke a wise man and he will love thee, Proverbs 9 to 8. What kind of friend do you want? What kind of friend are you? Do you want one who pampers your fancies and flatters your vanity? One who cheers you in your sin and encourages your compromise of faith? Such a friend will not help you are at center you need a real friend who will watch for your soul and correct you when necessary. The other kind is quite worthless, very deceitful, and will leave you wanting in the time of real need. A faithful reprover should be valued as a truly great treasure who loves you the most, the one having the most mutual pleasure with you or the one doing the most for you. If you learn it from this proverb, you know it is the one doing the most for you. If you are one of God's elect, Jesus, Christ gave his life for you and lives today for you. Romans 5 to 6, 11. And he wisely chastens your every fault for your perfection and holiness. Hebrews 12 to 417. He is the greatest friend you will ever have. Dear child of God, please share this message with your loved ones. God bless you.